Howdy folks, I'd like to show you one of my new paintings. Uh, these paintings really have so much that goes into them. There's a lot of mild math, there's a lot of geometry, and I've developed this technique of layering translucent paints uh, with uh, mixed media, and there's hundreds of layers of paint on here, and it's designed to look three-dimensional as you move around it, different things kind of present itself. And this one is called Sweet Leaf for obvious reasons. I was going to give you guys some insight on how one of these paintings start. Uh, when I first got this commission, uh, I was envisioning something like this. And I really wanted to try to get the leaf to kind of fade into space and really get the geometries of nature in it. So I started thinking about it and this little sketch right here it's basically the 1.618 ratio in circles. There's one, 1.618 bigger, 1.618 bigger. And I noticed that the leaves were matching up into these spaces. So I found my geometry and it's just beautiful when, um, you, when you look at nature, you always find these patterns. So from there, I got into the computer and really laid out this intricate um, pattern and I had to make all these different circles and each circle is used to make the arc of the leaf. And so it's really dynamic. And this is what goes into uh, one of these paintings, a lot of math and geometry. Uh, and then I go to the canvas. And as you see in the canvas, I do these in layers of paint. And so as you walk across it, like if, as you can go, go that way, and look at it, different things will appear and disappear. And it's kind of like a three-dimensional painting, almost like all of this geometry is floating along the background. I'd like to explain what is actually happening in all these paintings when I uh, go to paint them. Um, many of you know that I study a lot of nature, a lot of meteorology, a lot of solar dynamics, physics, ancient history, and all these paintings are really a desperate attempt of me to understand nature and how everything's working around us. And plants are so magnificent, life is so magnificent because, you know, where do things grow from? You know, you can imagine a seed has this, all this potential and it's introduced to water and it explodes into life. And Every plant is programmed with its own unique uh, dimensions and uh, things it wants to do. Its leaves unfold as the perfect solar panels uh, to get the energy from the sun. And, you know, when I, I think about in physics of this field that's out there, it's almost like it's growing into the field, like it's, like it's already there. That potential of the seed is written within the field of everything. And it's interacting with the energy of the sun and then getting the information from the water to build this beautiful um, machine or life form or whatever you want to call it. It's all growing at these specific rates that we notice, this uh, golden number of 1.618. Uh, it's spiraling out of space, like the Fibonacci ratio. Uh, the, just the beauty of everything and the simplicity of it is, is just astounding. For me, trying to understand these things, just taking something simple like a leaf and then trying to see the geometries in it and see how it's growing, I mean, it's way more dynamic than that. Every aspect of a plant or a living system is, is you know, just mind-bogglingly complicated. But it all starts with these patterns. And you like these patterns because uh, you're, you are designed to appreciate these patterns, these symmetries, these growth patterns. So you like it, but you don't know why you like it. And I find that really interesting. Um, you are designed to, to try to gravitate towards perfection and beauty. And that's what beauty is. Beauty is getting closer to these numbers and these ratios. So in art, you know, you're trying to develop a composition that is mimicking uh, these things that nature already does. And I just can't believe that all this is by an accident. Um, 
you might like a plant or like a shaman might, like the shaman say the plants talk to them, it might be that this, the geometry of those leaves might be telling him something, like information, or the smell, or the taste. I mean, you, you crave something because you might need it, or you might see something and it's perfect for you because that design is perfect for you.